You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I would have took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Oh, I'm gonna talk some fucking sense into this guy. Hey. How you doing? Don't talk to my girl anymore. Say what you said to me, asshole. Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. Wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How was that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you, as long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Do what's best for Clementine? I figured out. We find a boat. We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I like her hair. It's cool. Like a gun, are you kidding me? She's a little girl. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled, Jesus. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. And naturally on that list, we're gonna go ahead and prioritize a haircut over everything. She's gonna look fabulous. Alright, let's you know. I shot the kid, you know. You got a family, where are you headed? Uh let's ask him where he's headed first. Where are you headed? Uh that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Uh, I think the more the merrier. We might keep him around. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Alright, let's get all personal then. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past... Oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Uh, <laughs> this is a bit of a harsh one, but you're homeless then. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. He's safe up here. You betcha. Besides, I don't think we should give him a bottle of whiskey and let him just dangle off the side of the, uh... <laughs> off the side of the, the train. Alright, let's see if we can have a little chat with Kenny, see how he's feeling about the whole thing. Sure, your wife shot herself and I shot your son, but... Hang in there, champ, eh? Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. About my past. Are there maps in here? Um, are there any maps in here? Let's talk about my past. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat would be, uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Hey. Yeah? Alright, are there any maps in here? You still want to get a boat? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Now, I see a map right there. <laughs> I don't even know. I know Kenny's in a bit of a zone right now, but it's right in front of you, man. Come on. 
Still about to get a boat? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Here. It's the best plan. I'm not gonna argue with a man who just lost his wife and da uh, not daughter. Jeez, Duck was a guy. Get by you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Well, I just kind of need that map. It's full of maps and documents. Uh, is there any way I can convince you? <laughs> Look, it's Duck outside the. Ah, oh, fucking no, that's in dark taste. All right, fine. I'm just gonna go cut her hair then. Benny boy, you're not looking the best, and you're not gonna leave me pass either. Assholes, wall to wall hey, assholes. Hey. Carly didn't have to die. There aren't many of us left. There aren't many of us left. Yeah, you, me, and Kenny, Clementine, the homeless dude. If he sticks around, you going to be able to step up? We're all homeless. I don't know if we can count on Kenny. I don't know if we can count on Kenny. He's driving the train, okay? We just don't know. I lost everybody I've known because of this. I didn't even get back to my house. Who knows what's up with my parents? Why didn't you try to find them? I... Nobody would go with me. It was a while ago. Well, what happened to Kenny is different. I guess. Carly didn't have to die. See, he sounds very confrontational with Ben now, and I don't want to be confrontational with him. I want to smooth things over. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. Alright, come on. I'm going for a good Lee here. I don't want to turn him into a complete asshole. Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> he got his hopes up and everything there for a second. Like, he's talking to me again. And then I went ahead and crushed his spirit. Oh, man. Okay. That's what I do. Alright, so that's his backpack, I'd imagine. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. <laughs> uh, little does she know I'm talking about. I'm basically going for a buzz cut. I'm taking all of that hair off. Get me a razor. Um, you need to learn to protect yourself. What do you think about Chuck? What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Alright, what a crappy day. You need to learn to protect yourself. What do you think about Chuck? I've already asked her about Chuck. You need to learn to protect yourself. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? And not standing near the edge right. of trains? I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? <laughs> Don't point it at me. Take a breath, hold it, and fire. When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. I like to think it was pretty damn good advice. What? Where did that go? Oh, right, okay. Good. It's a target. Lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Should be a sharpshooter in no time. Alright, so she needs to aim right. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim higher? Okay, a little higher. Okay, um... Okay, so that was a bit off. 
So aim a little to the left. A little bit more to the left. Aim a little lower. Aim lower. Okay, we're getting there. Bit to the right. And uh, keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. Oh, there we go. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. I hope I never have to piss her off. Hey, look, it reanimated. Cool. All right, so aim left. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. Then aim higher. Aim a little higher. Oh yeah. There you go. Nice. I am the best weapons teacher in the world. That's me. Homeless ninja. He's got nothing on me. My combat skills are by far superior to him. This is a very nice little bonding moment. We're shooting stuff. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Until she accidentally shoots you in the ass cheek. Then we'll see. Alright, you tell Clementine to protect herself. Alright, let's check this pack out for some scissors. They look clean enough. Haha. <laughs> now, without warning, I'm just gonna cut your hair off. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... You'll get used to it. <laughs> what a crappy day. So here's the thing about... Let's we'll start off with what a crappy day. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. Thank you. I fully intend on replacing your father. <laughs> so you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. <laughs> Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Wait, cut hair. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm I'm an absolute wizard with the... What is that thing in the background? It's like following our train. It looks like some sort of missile or something. Anyways, <laughs> forget the missile for a second. More important matters. I'm cutting your hair. Don't worry, I'm an absolute wizard with this stuff. And if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Gonna give you a little bit of razzle dazzle. You won't even recognize yourself when you're done. Mainly because I'm about to butcher <laughs> seven shades of crap do out of your hair. You know how to do this? Nope, no idea. How hard can it be? Huh. Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> but think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Well, it matters a little bit. Killing is bad no matter what. No, it's different. Yeah. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. <laughs> Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Oh, 
I don't like Clem 2.0. Clem Times here is a lot safer now. <laughs> it is, but it's just not Clem, damn it. Camera angle is actually kind of funky. Not sure if there's something I'm meant to do or if I'm just meant to let it roll on. <laughs> 